Well, JCPS families have two days left to turn in their school choice applications. That is the process that families go through to register or apply for schools. WDRB's Molly Jed walks you through the application process step by step. Molly. Many JCPS parents need to make a decision in about 48 hours. However, some don't know if their student will have access to a bus next year. So for a lot of families, picking a school has become a challenge. I do like the fact that parents have some choice. Emily Pruitt is a former JCPS teacher. She says a lot has changed since she retired. Parents are just, just going to have to adapt. JCPS breaks down the school choice application process in a few steps. First, explore the list of schools and note the ones you are interested in. Second, register your student. This applies if your child is new to the district, entering kindergarten or early childhood programs. Third, verify. After completing the registration process, provide a proof of address to JCPS via email with a photo ID and a current residency document. Fourth, after you are verified by the district, JCPS will send you an activation key, which will allow you to select magnet schools, as well as zone choices for those currently in fifth and eighth grade. Then finally, JCPS will confirm your child's school assignment by mail. I've done some consulting work in systems where there was no transportation, like Chicago, for instance. Uh, they depend on the city system completely. So uh, it may be we're headed toward that. I don't know. The tax dollars will only stretch so far, and uh, you do what you can do. But the idea of getting every child to every school is just not feasible. The deadline to apply is December 22nd, Friday. The deadline seems a little bit early, but they have to do that if they're going to have choice. Parents also need to consider transportation. The district announced it will only guarantee busing for special education students and kids who attend their reside school. Students who may lose transportation include those who attend magnet schools. I know there's a lot of negative stuff and it was, there was negative stuff going on when I was there too. Uh, but uh, try, I think the, the kids will emulate the, the, the attitude of the parents. If families have questions, they can contact the JCPS School Choice Office. JCPS spokesperson Carolyn Callahan says families will know if they got the school of their choice by the end of March or the beginning of April. With photojournalist Ian Cunningham, I'm Molly Jett, WDRB News.